Today, the federal government, through the National Institutes of Health, is giving substantial support to mind-body research. Hey, Glazer. The husband and wife team of Janice Keycolt Glazer and Ronald Glazer has performed a series of experiments dramatically demonstrating the effect of emotions on our health. Their groundbreaking work, funded by the NIH, is on wound healing. Oliver Wendell Holmes in the 1860s, he'd observed that wounds for soldiers who had been victorious were much more likely to survive certain kinds of wounds than those who'd been beaten. It was a, a wonderful example of just how powerful stress and wound healing can be. And it's going to feel like a little pressure here. In one of the Glazer's experiments, small wounds are deliberately given to two sets of volunteers. One group is family caregivers of Alzheimer's patients. These are people who are under constant and enormous stress. The other group, matched in age and financial circumstances, has measurably lower levels of stress. We have the caregivers and we have very well matched control people who are at the same age and so on, but who aren't caregiving. That's the design of the study. The nurse takes a little instrument that creates a, a little wound about uh, smaller than the size of a pencil eraser, a standardized small wound about an eighth of an inch thick. And then what we did was we photographed the wound over time so we could watch the shrinkage of the wound and compare that to a standardized dot and get a sense for exactly how fast the wound was shrinking. The results of these and similar experiments are remarkable. On the average, the wounds of the unstressed group healed a full nine days sooner than the highly stressed group. It was a huge difference. The hormones released when we're stressed interfere with the complex biochemistry of healing. How quickly we heal is affected by our state of mind, particularly our level of stress.